Hey there guys, I'm Cody Mayer, and this is Cigar TV. And on today's episode of Cigar TV, we are doing another review on a cigar. I am currently taking a break from my gaming to enjoy this fine cigar right here. And, uh, it's pretty good so far. This is the Seven Deadly Sins G. So, it's a pretty good cigar. It's a pretty big cigar, too. Really thick. Uh, at least going to be an hour, probably an hour and a half type of smoke. Depending on how you smoke it. Uh, the draw on it is very good. And, yeah. So, we got a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper. And the cigar tobaccos and everything comes from Honduras so that's an interesting combination of stuff going into one cigar I uh, did multiple cuts with my V cutter uh, just because to be honest a regular guillotine cutter and stuff it won't cut off the top you're gonna need like one of those fat daddy cigar cutters the ones that can take bigger cigars like an 80 ring gauge type of cigar cutter personally I like smoking the bigger cigars because you get more bang for your buck and all that so yeah I got this in a jar of tin for about I would say, um, I think it was about like $80 or so, or even less than that. To be honest, I think I actually paid like uh, $60 for it, to be honest. So yeah, if you take a look right there at the band going around it, you got some really cool looking artwork. You got a person... Obviously, going crazy with the alcohol that they're drinking and all that. And then, you just keep on turning it. You got the 7 right there. The only thing in actual color being red. With the deadly being right across it. And a uh, bold outlined black. Saying deadly, of course. On the bottom band, you got the plain blackness with a solid white G. And if you keep spinning the cigar around, you get some more nice looking pictures. You got this woman here. You know, so it it's all very easy to see on the, uh, the band itself. And I like that. You don't really see too many cigars to where you can actually see the uh, detail in the uh, the bands too often. So I like that. I really do. So uh, let's get into the flavors of this cigar and see what we get. So right off the bat, I think I'm getting like a uh, taste of hay, um, a little bit of an earthy taste, not very strong though, um, and I think like a graham cracker-ish like taste. Also, I think there might be like a hint of a nuttiness to it, but it's really faint, and then you get like a, a powdery-like taste to the cigar itself as well. So, those would be the flavors I'm getting off the cigar. Uh, yeah. 
So if you look at those ashes right there, they're nice compacted together and the burn is actually being really good on it so far. Uh, like I said, the uh, draw through the cigar is really good. So yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So now let's move on to the container that it came in. Because the container itself is pretty nice looking as well. Uh, all the pictures on it is the same on the band, but more uh, big and more noticeable. So starting off with the front part, you get the picture of the person indulging heavily with the alcohol that they're drinking. And it you can clearly see that because they color that portion in on the jar itself and this really nice gold looking color right there in the bottom corner you get a nice white solid G you can actually really see all the line work that goes into this uh, picture spinning the jar around you get some more fine details on the back there and then yeah not too bad on the top of the jar you just get a plain black label with the name of the cigar and the how many cigars come in it in solid white letters like most of the jars I get this one is plastic and it has a valve release right here so you can open it up and close it whenever you get done with the container you can either put it up on your shelf to uh, just have a display or you can reuse it as a functional humidor just throw in like one of those uh, Bovita packs and you're good to go so here's the inside there's nine more cigars left in here because this is the first cigar out of the uh, jar itself and like in the other one you get this uh, You get this poster with all the other labels on it. So still pretty cool. Just like on the, the other one on the back here, you get the description and different stories about the other uh, cigars in this line. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. Um. Unfortunately, on the site that I got these from, you can't get them in the jar anymore, but you can still get them in a 5-pack. I was just looking at that, but that's still not a bad thing, because if you can get your hands on these cigars, I would definitely pick this one up. It's a nice uh, medium body cigar. It's not overly uh, powerful, but it's not weak either. You get a nice uh, strength off the cigar itself. Not to mention, you get a lot of smoke off of it. Uh, depending on how you smoke it and all that. So yeah, it's a wonderful little cigar. Uh, this review is kind of short today, but neither here or there, I would recommend picking this cigar up if you get the chance. So, if you like what you saw in this video and would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well to uh, stay up to date on all my latest videos. Also, if you want to ask any questions or leave any uh, tips, tricks, cigar idea reviews, and uh, gadgets, all cigar related, just leave those down in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Also, if you want to ask any more questions about the cigar or anything that you want to ask me personally about my love of cigars or whatever, 
Just leave those in the comments as well and I will get back to you on that. If you would like to see what I do in my personal life and get some exclusive behind the scenes of what goes on here on Cigar TV, uh, subscribe to me on uh, Instagram or go follow me on Instagram. That's Cigar TV 91 on Instagram. And uh, other than that, uh, that's all I have for you today. So stay safe out there and stay smoky.